side and kicks it out to Battle. There's Battle for three. Good. And that's a good sign for Syracuse. Gillen drops it off and Thompson finishes. What I'm able to do, especially on the offensive end of the floor, going against that Virginia defense and playing a slower possession game on Monday. Thompson taking it right at oh, Lammers. Oh, Thompson has been aggressive early. But regardless as to whether or not it's different, it's always going to be difficult to play again. A beautiful pass from Todd Jackson over the top of Clint Stevens. Andrew White gets some space. That rattles home. We're tied at 11. There's Battle. His shot contested, but it falls. He brought his game up when his team has needed it. Yeah. And then 27 on the road at NC State in their first road win. White's three gets the Syracuse contingent. And the of the crowd is orange. I, I would say so. I think it's a 60-40 split. Georgia Tech still winning the battle in the stands. But right now, Andrew White winning the battle on the court as he knocks down his second consecutive three. He's been able to have some success recently, and I believe they've grown in their confidence as a team. Confidence growing for number 12, the freshman with 14. Now he Final five seconds. Here's he looking for help. Three by Jackson. He's good. Here in the Cambridge Pavilion, a lot of credit. They have been locked in on this game. Matthias Battle now knocking down his third jumper in half so far. Thompson. White gets it over Lammers. Andrew White with 13. Georgia Tech going quickly. Jackson again. Count it. And the foul. And again, the Yellow Jackets getting down the court before the zone can set up. Hustle play. Lammers off the inbounds. He has 16. This is what I do, and he's, he's telling you, this is what I do. He's been called flooded as Leiden gets you on the scoreboard with 8.38 to go in regulation. Buys. That means they're in a Joe Lenardi's projected field. Leiden gets the tap on his second field goal. Not tonight, not against Louisville Monday. As Lammers throws it down, off the terrific lob. Team 5 of 22 for 3. A Kogi missed the bunny. Roberson the outlet to Gillen. And he'll finish to make it 58 47. Jackson holding his left wrist. White hits the 3 to answer. It's 60 to 50. White kicks it back out. Gillen thought about it. Here's Howard. A 3. That's good. And nearly lost it. Howard will try another three. A light and offensive rebound, and the putback is there. Thompson blocked by Lammers. Gets it back. It's a two-possession game with 140, and Jim Beheim will use a timeout. Gillen off the bounce. Throws it up. Loose ball. Kick back to battle. Into the corner, Gillen for three. Stevens to inbound. Turns it over. Leiden. And he's fouled. A two ties it. A three for the lead. And Gillen is fouled by Jackson. Actually, we're going to get an offensive foul. Offensive foul, foul on Roberson. On oh, Roberson. Coming over, and you see, did he ever get set? That's close, but you do see the right arm come off from Roberson, but not a shooting situation. And Georgia Tech prevails.